Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Back to a not so daily vlog here. Um, it is uh, November of 2021 already. Uh, I finally got this thing here. It is a JZX100 Chaser. Finally, I bought this car over a year ago, waited, got it shipped. Um, now, well, shipped to the United States and then shipped to the state I'm currently living in. So, lots of money. It's already a money pit. Like, I had to buy a new battery. Um, of course, they put like a smaller battery tray in here, uh, previous owner, so. There's like some wiring things I need to figure out. I had these unplugged. I don't, I haven't noticed the difference uh, with anything. I know like the gauges in this car um, don't work. So there's other things I need to figure out. I had a couple JZX 90s and I've had to change an alternator before. So it shouldn't be that hard, but it looks like I gotta take some stuff off. <laughs> and, um, yeah, the, this tire got de-beaded, but it's all good. Uh, I actually put had a spare S14 wheel that's kind of flat, but it's better to drive on this than my freaking Workmeisters. Um, yeah, and this is what I got to work with. All my tools are like right here and in there. Um, but let's go ahead and get to it. Um, I wish I could do a review of this video or of this car just to show you guys what it looks like. But that's going to have to wait maybe until the weather gets nicer. But that's how you get the top off. And we're about to find out what's in here. Because I've never seen it. Um, I just need a flashlight. Apparently it's a brand new timing belt. Well, we'll see. Not bad. The timing belt looks good. Looks like we got new wires in here. That's a good sign. Wires, plugs. Um, I like to let the valve covers, or the, not valve cover, but the coil packs to breathe. So I might just leave this open. All right guys, so what I've decided to do was to go ahead I'm going to remove, I'm going to try not to remove the radiator or the fan shroud. I'm going to go ahead and remove the intake. We got it. We got it out. But I have the top piece out. I can get the bottom bolt that's holding this intake plenum. And then I can get this stupid bracket out. Oh my god. Alright guys, there you have it. The stupid plate is over there on the ground. I'm probably not going to put it back in because if that wasn't in, I could have just took the intake plenum off. Um, there's the turbo. Alright, so we are back. This is pretty easy to get out. It was just, uh, just had to squeeze tight. 
Um, the bolt here was a 12 mil. Now I'm figuring out how to get <clears throat> this piece off without breaking anything. Well, we got this bolt loose. Now we need the, I'm guessing it's a 12 underneath. Yeah, this requires me to be under the car to do this one. That's how you do it. There you go. Boom. Woo! Yes. All right, everyone. Just a little quick update here with the JZX. Um, I, uh, I went ahead and decided to get my alternator rebuilt and I found a local shop. Um, the reason why I did that is because I would still be able to remain to keep the OEM uh, alternator instead of buying a brand new China part. Um, it was only it's only eighty dollars to get it rebuilt compared to paying two hundred fifty. Um, people swear that the OEM is better, and we know how it all goes with the China parts. All right, guys, we're at the side of the house here. I wasn't really going to show you this, but might as well. I'm going to be cutting this out. It's just wood, and I appreciate the previous owner, but as you can see, I already cut a part of it. Um, it's like a nice skid plate, but it's such a pain in the ass to work on because as you can see, here is, is where the jacking point is and it broke so I don't I think it's more of a hassle than anything so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up it's gonna be nice weight reduction and it's gonna be easier to jack up the car so I prefer that and remember kids Safety first. Don't do what I'm doing with the flip flops. It does create like a nice lip. As you can see. But we're gonna, I, I like the lip design. That actually makes it look cooler. All right, everyone, we got the good news here. We finally got the alternator. Um, so before I forget, he explained it to me, but the rectifier was the issue. It's inside on the back here. But uh, he said what probably caused that is either just the car sitting too long or uh, the battery terminal was on the opposite ends, you know, positive and negative. Or also the battery was too small or the battery was just completely dead. And all those are very possible uh, outcomes of what happened. And you know, with the miles being so low on this chaser, the, it, yeah, it probably, it did sit a lot of its life sorry i just got like a cold right now but uh they also changed the bushings and but oh my god it's so much cheaper and he said these alternators are really awesome it only cost me 86 dollars after taxes so i love it got a shout out to uh Marv's Auto Electric Auto Repair. These guys saved my life. Thank you so much. All right, guys, just like that. Uh, super easy. 
Got one bolt there. I had to feed it through the top. And you're gonna run into the fan shroud, or clutch fan, I mean, and uh, it'll fit just enough in between the two blades. Also, you got your little nut here, and that's it. I won't really tighten it down until I start putting the belt back on, but it's very, very simple. All right, guys, moment of truth, but before I even start the car, uh, I'm looking over everything, making sure everything's plugged back in. Um, there's always a couple bolts missing. I know those bolts go for the, the spark plug cover. Um, also, as you can see, I don't have that stupid skid plate anymore. I just plugged the math back in. Everything's nice and snug. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> with the tensioner belt, uh, I'll have a link in the description on what it looks like, but I'll also even show you guys here. Um, so I was trying to put it on with the belt wrapping around the alternator and the crank pulley, I believe. Yeah, but as you can see on the diagram, you have to have it wrap around the water pump and the alternator, then it wraps on the tensioner, then it goes onto the crank pulley. So it took me like an hour to figure that out, but don't make that mistake. <clears throat> and you can't really make that mistake uh, too easily it's pretty easy if it the belt doesn't go on when you pull the tensioner all the way then you know you're doing something wrong but that's that uh, got the battery tray the battery terminals mounted headlights and everything we're not we're gonna run it without the front bumper for now um, what else yeah, I showed you guys. I checked the spark plugs and everything. Finally, it is time to start this bad boy. So we'll go ahead and let her warm up here. We'll have to go ahead and make another video where uh, I'll be messing with all the wiring and getting those gauges to work. All right, one last roar for you guys. That's gonna do it for today's video. Give this a thumbs up and uh, see you guys next time.